Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this quick tip video is going to be on the feature freeze functionality found inside of SolidWorks. First off, the feature freeze functionality is used for speeding up parts and also for locking features so you don't mess anything that you don't want to mess up up. So this is the feature freeze bar, and in order to use it, you have to make sure that it is turned on under the options. So go in and make sure that enable feature freeze bar is checked under your general options. Now, before I go in and start using it, I want to go in and show you how effective it can be by going into the tools using the performance evaluation command to look and see how long this part would take to rebuild if I put it into a rebuild. 72 seconds, I'm not going to make you wait that in the video, but you can see the majority of the rebuilds come from the hex cutout features and the patterning and the mirroring. This is a iPad wrap to protect an iPad from a drop that goes around the back of an iPad. So let's just go in and see how the feature freeze bar works. Once it's turned on, it's this little yellow bar, and if you put the cursor over it, you can see it changes to a hand with a little yellow wrist. If I take that and pull it down, it freezes all the features that are above it. Now, you can't selectively freeze features. It's either going down the tree, all above it, or none at all. Now, I'm going to freeze the whole entire part because I find a lot of benefits in being able to freeze the entire part and I can select to rebuild all the configurations now or just one configuration. Right now I have like three configurations. I'll go ahead and say rebuild them all. And then I'll go in and we'll see through the performance evaluation command, again, how much time that's going to save me. You can see I was already rebuilt on the configuration that was the 72 seconds. So this is a live video right now that I'm going to try not to cut the time out on. So you can see what's real in here. And if I now go into my performance evaluation command, you can see it's going to take zero seconds to rebuild this if I go to rebuild. It still shows you the time that it would take to rebuild them if you took it out of Feature Freeze, but right now with Feature Freeze, I've got instant rebuilds, which also means that when I go pull this assembly open that is referencing this part, that this assembly is going to come up super fast because it comes up with the benefits of the part inside the assembly having all the features frozen. So even if your settings were to rebuild when you opened, this is still going to open a lot faster in process 72 seconds left, less on complete rebuilds for the part within the assembly. So let's go back and see a couple other things about how this feature freeze can work because we have certain commands under the feature freeze and the only way to find them is to get to the feature freeze bar and right click on it. You're going to see things like update all configurations or roll back to the top to unfreeze. But there are other dynamic commands that come up as well. So let me show you how that works. This DS logo, which is frozen, it's actually a part of another configuration. And it being a frozen feature, it's actually using a separate inserted part to use is a cutout. So let me go into that logo configuration and you can see it can instantly go from one configuration to the next, especially once I've processed the configurations one time through. But this DS logo cutout is referencing another model. So let, what happens if I go in and open up that other model that it's referencing and change something on that? because it is a frozen feature. So let me go open the model, and I'm just going to go ahead. I've got something I can go ahead and unsuppress, so I don't have to bore you with modeling something like the Go Engineer text. And now with that model change, let me go back into the wrap and see what happens. So 
hey, nothing's happened. Well, look, something has happened. Over here on the left, we have a go light on the feature that is frozen that really needs to be regenerated. So if I right click on the little yellow bar now, make sure you don't confuse it with the little blue bar. So the one up above is the yellow bar. If I right click on the yellow bar, here's the new dynamic command popping up. Update the frozen features. So if there's any features in this model that are referencing other model features or other models and those change, you can selectively just upgrade those update those frozen features so it doesn't take the time that it would typically take to a rebuild all the configurations and rebuild all the features at the same time in other words that's 72 seconds that I started with so feature freeze mode in SolidWorks I would really start looking at using it especially if you've got large models with lots of features and you can save those models in feature freeze mode so that when you go back into the assembly the assembly is updated and all and you can see even working between different configurations in the assembly can really be pretty snappy when things are frozen so thanks for watching another quick tip video from go engineer